cluster project um, has been a great experience, not only for Green Futures, but for all of our project, uh, for all of our partners. Um, today we interviewed Nicholas Whistlesill from the Chinook Country Tourist Association, uh, as well as Amanda Jensen, who was hired uh, right from the start to be a key component of the, the project. Back in 2011, cluster was the buzzword. Uh, there had been a whole bunch of talk about you know, exciting new projects, um, but along with that came always the desire. We have great ideas. I'd been on the board of Chinook Country many, many years ago, and we talked about the excitement of what would happen if we had an online booking system. But without the funds and the support, projects like this just don't happen. So when RDI and RADF partnered with Community Futures Network of Alberta, we saw a huge opportunity to bring those partners together, to give them the support that they needed, and to help with the financing to make a sustainable cluster project. Uh, the history of our cluster project, uh, uh, in a sense, I, I feel it started with the funders. There was a, a number of uh, clustering uh, discussions going on, and, and we felt that uh, it would be implemented in a way that would bring our, our industry together. Uh, we really needed something to focus on that, that would allow us uh, and our industry to start working in a more collaborative fashion. So that uh, was sort of the start behind the cluster notion. At the same time, the uh, Canadian Tourism Commission had released a, a, a really a novel research tool on market segmentation known as the Explorer Quotient or EQ and we felt we could bring that in as an element within the cluster. And then finally uh, there was at that time the, the whole notion that rural areas uh, were difficult to purchase and so there had been the development of an online reservation system designed for destination marketing organizations and, and rural regions that could be used and we piloted and put those three together. Uh, currently there are 78 uh, partners that, from the region that are engaged in the project and they're engaged in a number of different ways whether it's on the online booking system, having implemented EQ, those type of things. We presented in small groups what we were called primers and these were the three components, the notion of clustering and, and how it was being used, the uh, Explore Quotient or EQ uh, research and segmentation tool and how that could be used for their businesses and then finally how the online booking system could help bring it all together. One of the big things I think is the collaboration. We found that the more the operators had an opportunity to network or interact with each other, the better they understood who they were actually competing with and who in fact were now collaborating with. And we can only see that that will grow. I was hired as the project um, administrator for the cluster. I was involved from the, the first meeting and was also involved on a contract basis with um, CF in terms of doing the, the benchmark surveys, the midpoint surveys and the follow-up surveys with directly with the operators so we could get a sense of what was actually happening out on the ground. This project was differentiated um, from some of the other cluster projects by the fact that a macro cluster really was already in existence. There's been a number of tourism organizations for many years that have brought the tourism industry together in southwest Alberta. But what this project allowed for was um, the growth and development of that cluster. There had been a lot of um, fractures in the industry before this point, and this project allowed um, the volume of, of operators involved to increase, and also the quality of their involvement um, to increase in terms of their ability to work together. Tremendous impact. Um, I think one of the biggest things in a, in a grand sense is that the, the fracturing that existed within the industry is all but gone. This project, project gave um, uh, tourism destination organizations as well as operators themselves a common language to speak from and gave them a common platform and a common goal. So um, we're really seeing um, a synergy, if you will, um, with, with all of those in the industry. Another key aspect is to have a sustainable business plan. I don't care if it's just a regular business or a project like this. If you don't have a method, a method of ensuring that there's funding available to ensure the longevity of your project, it's a waste of money. So I think the, one of the key things that the Chinook Country and, and the project did is, is um, come up with a manner that there was income coming into the project to make it sustainable. And then in order to uh, have success long term, you have to track results and that's part of the business plan. But in order to keep the partners that you have at the table now and to entice new ones, numbers are key and dollars are, are what people are looking for. So in order to show them stats and results, that are verifiable and can be uh, proved. That's the only way you're going to bring new people to the table 
and have longevity of a report of a project such as this.